You know, sometimes I feel like I'm living in a bizarro world. On the one hand, I turn on CNBC and I see them praising the fact that there are these new jobs numbers that just came out, hotter than expected. And then I go around the internet and there's same, similar headlines, hotter than expected jobs report for May. This is good news for President Biden, adding $273,000 payroll jobs. What the heck's actually going on here? I feel like, seriously, when you actually dive into the numbers, the mainstream media is absolutely just lying right to your faces. So what in the world happened? Well, we got the Bureau of Labor Statistics numbers this past week. And at the surface, it seemed like, wow, a lot of these guys, Goldman Sachs and Wells Fargo and Bank of America, they totally underestimated the fact that the economy added all sorts of new payroll numbers. Wow, more payrolls, that's good news, right? So this came in hotter than expected. Well, the truth is much darker. So can we actually tell you what happened here? I'm going to show you the numbers here. I'm going to put up some charts here to, to uh, uh, illuminate you on this. But of course, what actually happened is that more Americans are losing full-time jobs. But they're adding secondary and more part-time jobs. So yes, we added more payrolls. More people with more payrolls is not good for America. More full-time workers are declining. So the real story is that Americans are losing their jobs. Their Americans are losing their full-time stable employment jobs. That's what's really going on here. And what they're being replaced with are multiple jobs. I remember a few years ago, President George W. Bush famously, when a woman stood up and said that she's working three jobs right now, and she didn't finish the sentence. I don't know how she exactly said it. But at the time, we were all shocked because he said, oh, that's great. That's, that's, a, that's, that's America right there. The only in America. And I thought, yeah, only in America? She has to work three jobs just to be able to put food on her table for her family? Or as President George Bush would have said, put food on your family? He said that. So this sort of out-of-touch idea that, yeah, we need more jobs because I've been cut hours at my other job. They don't want to pay me full-time position anymore, so now I'm downgraded to part-time. Oh, and then we got the other numbers this week on the amount of jobs being added in the United States. And most of the part-time jobs being added in the United States are not even Americans. They are illegal immigrants getting those jobs. So again, I feel like I'm living in an absolute bizarro world. I turn on CNBC and hotter than expected jobs numbers. <laughs> okay, I mean, we're living in a, in a fantasy world right now. And during the same week, then you're starting to see these headlines. Well, this was a good week for President Biden. His poll numbers are up for the first time in months. Yeah, gee, I wonder why. Fake jobs numbers and a conviction from President Trump in a phony show trial in New York State that we now know is about to be overturned because of a mistrial or who el whoever knows else why it's going to happen. But we clearly are seeing the tea leaves on that. And I am not a Trump apologist, but I'm just telling you, you're seeing these numbers now from President Biden. They're saying, oh, some of these swing state poll numbers are tightening for President Biden. Okay. See what's really going on here, guys. It's all propaganda. So again, when you dive into these numbers, you're going to realize it's shocking and it's actually very troubling but they won't tell you that over at cnbc because they're all in the tank for the biden administration and then you saw gold went down silver got clobbered i think gold went down by like a hundred bucks and we don't see these sort of price actions on gold at, at all we don't it usually it's a very slow and steady but suddenly a hundred dollars and silver also went down so guys what is going on it's not like the economy is booming there's inflation everywhere they're busy praising these jobs numbers, and yet Americans are being clobbered. So what the heck is actually going on here? It's very, very tricky. So I decided to get on the phone with a few experts that I trust, a few economists and gold experts and precious metals experts that I trust. And I asked them all of this question, what are you guys seeing right now? What is the data showing you? And I put together a brand new report called Massive Shifts on the Horizon, and it's a fantastic report. I put a lot of answers in here that will shock you to the core. A lot of data, a lot of numbers. The Biden administration is flat out lying and cooking the numbers. If you want to understand what's about to happen, go and grab this free report that I just wrote. Really good stuff in here, guys. Again, it's totally free. Just go to our website and get it for free, morrisinvest.com slash gold to get that free report that I co-authored. It is eye-opening uh, and the numbers just don't lie. So again, we're going to see 
how June's numbers turn out uh, over the next few weeks. We'll see that into July and what these part-time jobs look like for the United States. Americans losing their full-time jobs. Huge companies are laying off tens of thousands of people right now and they're being replaced with part-time workers and they're, we're supposed to celebrate that? No, I'm going to give you the big middle finger, uh, Washington, D.C. We are not going to celebrate that. That is not the American dream. We'll get back to the video in a second, but look, your money is not safe. You can see all the time that stocks can crash, bonds lose value. Anything that you can't physically put your hands on increases your risk right now. Hey everyone, I'm Clayton Morris, longtime real estate investor and founder of Morris Invest. And my favorite tangible asset is real estate. It consistently outperforms other asset classes. And I believe it's the number one way to build and protect your wealth. Now, while there are several ways you can invest in real estate, most of which I've tried myself, the build to rent model offers the most benefits. More specifically, single family buy and hold rentals. Here's why. Much lower risk than trying to flip a house. You have more control and higher returns than REITs, you know, if you're investing in the stock market. It's way less work than wholesaling properties if you're into wholesaling. Many fewer repairs and headaches than trying to rehab a property. My company, Morris Invest, along with the help from our partner at Sidera Wealth, helps you invest in build-to-rent properties as easily as investing in stocks. That's because we buy and build in bulk, and then we pass on our savings to you. And when you purchase a property through us, you get discounted pricing on properties at or below market value. Seller incentives like mortgage buy-down rates and credits right now usually lowers your rate by about 1%, and we know with higher interest rates right now, you definitely want that, right? And you get free ongoing customer service for the life of your investment. Get personal phone numbers and email addresses of our team. And build to rent properties are in prime growth markets. We're talking 18% internal rate of return, 18% amazing tax benefits. And you get a free cost segregation report, helping find strategies that increase tax write-offs. You get principal reduction as your tenant pays down your mortgage and you get steadily growing appreciation and equity gains. Plus, positive cash flow. We won't sell you a property if the math doesn't add up. If you want to know more, just click the link in the description box and it'll take you to our website where you can book a free call with our team. There's zero pressure, no obligation. Look, I understand we won't be a good fit for everybody and that's totally okay. Some of you might want to be DIY. You want to do it yourself. That's great. Either way, you're going to walk away from our phone call with some valuable new insights and an idea of what questions you might want to ask and some actionable steps that you can take to move forward in your financial journey. You can always find an excuse to not invest, but the sooner that you start a smart investment like build to rent real estate in a strong market, the sooner you'll be enjoying pure cash flow. So click the link below and I hope to see you on our schedule. So today's our Q&A episode where you guys are able to leave us a voicemail question. We can answer anything that you guys are thinking about in the economy, real estate, investing, gold, silver, whatever's on your mind. Um, and we will attempt to answer it here. We got our first few questions fired up, so let's take it. Here's Eric. Hi, Clayton. This is Eric calling from Charlotte, North Carolina. I'd like some insight on my situation. I have about a $5 million net worth consisting of $7 million in assets, real estate, and financial assets, and $2 million in liabilities. But I still have a WD job, W-2 job that I don't really like. And um, I am looking for some advice on how I can leverage my assets and rejig my buckets of assets so that I can replace my W-2 income and just spend my time managing my portfolio of real estate. I only have one rental property. It's a rather large one. It generates, uh, ideally, in best case, 60 k a year in income for free cash flow. Um, but due to the cost of insurance and other stuff, that's gone down the last few years, so it's probably closer to 30 k um, anyway, I would just like some help in redoing my portfolio. Everything's on the table um, to generate cash flow to my W-2. Thank you. Thanks, Eric, and thanks for the humble question. You know, it, I think it's great to have that reflection time right now and to think about how can I make an improvement, right? At the end of the day, you've got these assets, but you, you know, $5 million in assets, um, but you've got $2 million in liabilities. So my question to you would be, have you done your freedom number cheat sheet? I know it sounds rudimentary and you might be thinking, hey, I'm a millionaire. 
But you know what? Sometimes it's good to be humbled, right? I went through this recently with my wife. We literally got back to basics with, with investing. We started by, you know, acquiring new rental properties again, getting back to what got us where we are now and really got focused. And I'm really excited about that. And I think you know, it's an exciting time to think. And it's, a, it, it, and it's also, again, a, an exciting time once you have that awareness that you're not better than anybody else, right? We all need to go through these periods of self-reflection and kind of sit down and think, okay, what do I want from my life? And that's what you're going through now. So my question to you is, did you download the Freedom Cheat Sheet? Maybe you did, maybe you didn't. But maybe it's time to go over it again. Just go to our website, morrisinvest.com slash freedom. Download it. It's like three pages. And again, you might be a millionaire thinking, I'm well past that. Well, it's time to go back to basics. Go back to the basics. That's why I read Rich Dad, Poor Dad once a year. Because it's sometimes we get off track. We need to get back to the basics. And so go through and find out what is your freedom number? You don't want to be at that W-2 job anymore. So what, would, what is the number that it would take for you to live financially free? Now, you've got a number of assets, but it sounds like you only have one performing asset. So I'm curious what those other assets are. And are they, bringing, are, are they acting more like a liability than anything else? Maybe it's time to think about leveraging those assets through a home equity line of credit, other some sort of portfolio loan on your assets, borrow against those portfolio of assets, and think about acquiring additional real estate. And again, I would also just book a call with our team, Eric. We can maybe help you with this um, and just talk you through like what maybe point you in the right direction. Our team is fantastic. You know, we have a team of experts. So just book a call with our team at Morris Invest and we'll talk, we'll talk it through. And we can kind of play with some of the numbers and see what you want to achieve. And we're going to ask you what your freedom number is on the phone, by the way. That's one of the first things we do. So when people book a call with us, they have to download the cheat sheet and and run those numbers. So then what is that number for you and your family? Is it, you know, $7,000 a month? Is it $6,000 a month? Is it $10,000 a month for you to live financially free and leave that W-2 job? I think just getting those numbers down again and maybe doing a reassessment is going to really help you. I think unlock some clogs, some clogged mind, you know, mind flow for you right now. And it'll help put those numbers down on paper. Where do you think you want to go? But then also look at those assets and can you leverage any of those assets? That would be my first thing if I was in your position. I'd be looking at how can I take equity out of those particular assets and roll those into additional rental properties. Or... Maybe the property you currently have is not like the ROI is not there. And maybe it's time to think about a 1031 exchange, right? I mean, maybe this, it sounds like it's a multi-family property. Maybe it's not turning out the type of results you'd like right now. And maybe the uh, rolling this into a 1031 exchange, taking the profits and rolling those into like seven rental properties, five rental properties, using leverage, using the bank's money. Again, these are all things we could talk about on the phone with you, Eric, and and help you out there because like our new construction properties get a minimum internal rate of return of 18%. Recently, I was talking with my father-in-law. He came to visit. We were talking and uh, he said, you know, what's like the what's like the minimum return on one of your new construction properties? I said 18%. He about fell out of his chair (laughs) because he's usually kind of looks at like 10%, you know, if he can get like 10% or 8% or 9%. And I said, yeah, um, 18% internal rate of return. And he just, he said, all right, (laughs) all right, let's talk. So, and he's a big investor. He's got properties all over the country and everything. So, uh, and I never like to push my my family in that way. But um, anyway, my point is that 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 property you have, that multifamily that's bringing 60, but now with insurance and taxes and other things you're dealing with might not be the internal rate of return or the rate of return might not be as good as you think it is. And maybe it's time to cut bait and roll that into a 1031 exchange and then upgrade those assets. So I think you've got a couple of options there, right? Obviously playing with the assets you have for leverage. The goal though, ultimately, Eric, is to get you out of that W-2 job, Okay move on from that job and how can we bring in the number the amount of cash flow that you need every month but you need to know that freedom number first that must that has to be your baseline put that sticky note up in your office at your house like this is the number you're going to work towards so you don't have to do that that w2 job anymore what kind of income would you need from your rental properties and your assets in order to live financially free so i think we just need to move some chess pieces around in order to make that happen Thank you, Eric, for that question. Here's our next one. 
I'd like to say uh, thank you for your videos and for the great information you provide on investment. Um, I'd like to say a question about tax lien and specifically New Jersey with the two year redemption period. What are the chances of you successfully getting the property after two years in a tax lien state like New Jersey with a two year redemption period? Well, it's very good actually. Um, tax liens are tricky. Uh, I've done a lot of tax lien deals in New Jersey, to be honest with you. Um, and, and uh, but I, I haven't done them in a few years transparently. So I don't know if any laws have changed since COVID and since, you know, new state legislature. I don't know, um, in the years since I've lived there and in the years since I've done tax lien deals. Now, are you talking about trying to acquire a tax lien property at that two year window? Because what I used to have to do and a lot of investors you'd have to be prepared to go right basically down to the courthouse and stand there on that day, identifying the property that you wanted to bid on. And you had to have cash on hand. And it's a process. It's not easy in New Jersey. So that's why a lot of the multi-million dollar investors were the ones that usually, they would even send a liaison down there with, um, and I forget exactly, you had to almost have, you couldn't have cash. It had to be, it wasn't a check. Forget exactly, to be honest with you. I mean, totally transparent. It was like you had to have, it's almost like a, you almost had like a traveler's check, like a, or a, you know, like a, um, I don't know, like a facsimile of the money to show. So you would go to the tax, you would go to the courthouse that day, you'd show them that you're, you're a legitimate person with legitimate funds and you'd present it to the courthouse and you sort of identifying the tax liens at the tax auction. Um, if that's what you're talking about when they would hold the tax auction. So, um, but yes, I, I certainly picked up a number of tax lien properties and I've actually bought quite a bit of raw land through tax liens as well um, through that redemption period. And it's, you can get some great deals that way. So it's, it's possible. You just need to understand. I would definitely, here's what my recommendation would be to you um, in New Jersey. Go to a local real estate meetup group. Okay. Go to a local real estate meetup group. Go to meetup.com and find a local REIA meeting in your neck of the woods. There were so many in New Jersey, okay? So many. And I used to go to three, three different groups I was a part of and a member of. And, you know, you rotate and you go to different, they would usually hold, hold them at different pubs and things like that. It was like a, it was a great night. Once a month you'd get together and you put on a name badge and you'd say, you know, I'm a wholesaler, I'm an investor, I'm a hard money lender, I'm a realtor, whatever you are, you put your name badge on and you just hang out and have a beer with everyone and go to those and shake hands and talk to people. And then I would just go and really pick the brains of people that are in that room who are doing tax lien sales and purchases and find out what their process is like and ask them their advice on how do they do it. How do they make sure they don't get beat by the multi-million dollar investors, right? That's the key. You have an idea, you're like, oh, this looks like a great property. I want to get my hands on this property. Yeah, but these other guys are like vultures, okay? So you need to know their strategy. But my my thing is like, go and become friends with these people. Seek their advice. How do they do it? Um, and and go, go uh, take that next step. Because New Jersey is an incredibly tricky state. And uh, I used to wholesale deals there. I never, in, I, I invested a little bit in the south of Jersey, but... Uh, it's not an investing state that I'm that I'm interested in uh, for a variety of reasons, but not the least of which is it's it's not a landlord friendly state. All right, our next question, Edwin, and my question is: I'm still looking for a good accountant that understands real estate and a good lawyer. I'm in South Carolina, also have a place in Tennessee. All right, so you're looking for an accountant that understands real estate and you're looking for a, uh, so you're looking for a tax advisor, a tax accountant, and you're looking for a lawyer that understands real estate. Um, my advice is, you know, I, I, I love the team at WealthAbility, our friends, Tom Wheelwright and his group. If you go to wealthability.com, uh, you can actually just go to our website, go to morrisinvest.com. We have a, just click on the resources tab. We have a resources tab there for that reason to help you with this. So, I highly recommend the team at WealthAbility as a, t as a tax accounting team. He, Tom Wheelwright has created a network of tax accountants that understand real estate, okay? He's trained them. They understand it. And then also on the lawyer side, our friends over at Corporate Direct, that's Garrett Sutton's company. 
they're fantastic as well. Um, and they understand real estate deeply. Um, they are the rich dad advisor for Robert Kiyosaki. So that would be a place to start. Again, you can go to our website, morrisinvest.com and check out all of this information over there. So thank you guys. And if you'd like to leave us a voicemail question, go over to morrisinvest.com. There's a microphone icon on the right side of your screen. Just click it and ask your question. And don't forget to get that free report that I told you about earlier on gold and what's happening right now with this trouble on the horizon. Just go to morrisinvest.com gold to get that as well. Thanks everyone. We'll see you next time.